This is an official live stream of the CNCF and as such is subject to the CNCF Code of Conduct. Please do not add anything to the chat or questions that would be in violation of that Code of Conduct. Basically, please be respectful, please be respectful of all your fellow participants and presenters. And with that done, it is time for the CNCF Face-Off with your host, the smoother than crunchy peanut butter, the ever luscious Maddie Stratton. All right. Thank you, Paul. It is time for round three of CNCF Face-Off. Now, remember, this is a multi-level game. We're going to go through, there are four first rounds. We go to the semifinals, and then the final championship will take place during KubeCon, either virtually or in person, a little bit of both. So we're going to see what's going to happen with that. But remember, the winner will receive... The winner of the ultimate championship of CNC Faceoff will receive the coveted CNC Faceoff Cup, which looks just like this. Can you imagine? So, but let's get ready to get into this. What we have done is we have surveyed hundreds of cloud native engineers, and we're bringing in our first, uh, our two teams to play against each other here in round three. So let's go ahead and meet our teams. Uh, we have the SRE Street Band on one side, led by Alex. Alex, welcome, and welcome to the SRE Street Band. Thanks, Matt. We are excited to be here. Joining Alex, we have Carrie. Hey, everyone. I'm Carrie, also known as the Mighty Muppet. <laughs> and rounding out the team is Ian. How's it going, everyone? Okay. Uh, facing off against... The SRE Street Band is the other people who are starting off with Chris. Hey, everybody. Very happy to be here. Awesome. And Charlotte? Hey, everybody. Anyos? Sorry. <laughs> Having trouble with the mute button. Yes. Oh, that's just part of the experience. And uh, Tybor is our final player for the other people. Welcome, Tybor. Hi, um, I'm also here, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we are going to go ahead and get into it. Our first face-off is going to be Chris versus Alex. So players, get ready, get your hands on your buzzers. I will unlock your buzzer after I fully read the question. The first person to buzz in with the highest sco uh, scoring answer will take command of the board. So let's see what is our first question. Name a reason to change cloud providers. Okay, and first buzz was Alex. Alex, name a reason to change cloud providers. Cost. Cost, show me cost. Cost is the number one answer on the board, which means the SRE Street Band will take control of the board and will play. Okay, yeah. so we're going to move over to uh, SRE Street Band. Next player is going to be Carrie. Carrie, we have surveyed over 100 cloud native engineers and asked them to name a reason to change cloud providers. What is one of those answers? Uh, because leadership said so. Because leadership said so. Survey says, the boss told me to. Excellent. Okay, Ian, we're off to a good start. Still have four answers on the board and no strikes. Name a reason to change cloud providers. Complete and utter masochism. Show me masochism. Survey says morals or ethics. I, okay, I will take that. Uh, we'll, we'll take judges, it too. Judges are being lenient. That's okay. You still got three answers to go, Alex. Alex, can you name a reason to change cloud providers? Compliance or regulations. Regulation, regulatory or compliance reasons. Survey says? Mm. No, first strike, okay. Carrie, you got three answers and two strikes to go. You're in good shape. Name a reason to change cloud providers. Talent pool. Say it again. Talent pool, like? The talent pool, people, uh, skill, skill or talent. Survey says? Ease of use, okay. All right, Ian. Two strikes and two quest two possible answers on the board still to go. Name a reason to change cloud providers. Uh, it broke. 
<laughs> the one you're on show broke. me <laughs> show me it's broken mm. oh second strike okay alex you got two possible answers but one only one strike left name a reason to change cloud providers better technology offerings show me the tech is just better mm. survey says no all right so we are in it's up to you. So the other people, here's what how this is going to go. You've got two possible answers. You will get one guess. So between the three of you, and you can you know come up with your answer. If you guess one of these remaining answers, you will steal all of the points on the board. If you don't guess one of them, then the SRE Street Band will get the points. We're allowed to discuss. Yes, please do discuss. <laughs> You can discuss out loud. Yes, we'd love to hear it. That's part of the fun. Do, do we think, to think that what more people would have gone for? Um, maybe actually needing a service that is provided on the other cloud provider, and it's not the same thing as the tech is better, right? Yeah, yeah but, but at the same time, I guess uh, there were like uh, more loosely good answers already accepted. So I guess. It is the same enough as it, if it if it was actually one of the answers, it, it would have been accepted already, I guess. True. Hmm. Uh, would vendor lock in have something around that? Yeah, maybe. Cooler names. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are gonna need an answer. So vendor locking or cooler names. Chris gets to choose. Chris, let us know what's the answer that you're going with. Uh, let's go for cooler names. That sounds like okay. Show me they have cooler names. Survey says mm. no. Okay, which means the points will go to the SRE Street Band. Well, let's see what the remaining yeah. uh, remaining answers on the board were. And number four was they go out of business. Okay. And the number six answer was because of Corey Quinn's shit posting. <laughs> so uh, always part of some everybody's uh, setup. Okay. So our next face off now is going to be Charlotte versus Carrie. So go ahead, uh, contestants, hands on your buzzers. And let's see that first question, that question for this next round. This is the same question. Name something you might see in an email from a vendor. Carrie is our first buzz in. Carrie, name something you might see in an email from a vendor. Uh, really long signatures. Show me a really long signature. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so the other people will get to play. Charlotte, you'll go first. Uh, name something you might see in an email from a vendor. Telling you that you're obviously the right person to talk to in the company. Flattery. Show me flattery. Survey says. Mm. No. Okay. I would think so, but, you know. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Tabor, uh, name something you might see in an email from a vendor. Outage. Show me, there is an outage. Survey says. Mm. Judges are on the fence about this one, but the answer is no. All right, Chris, Whew, you got two strikes. Can name something you might see in an email from a vendor, like a sales vendor. Products, products matching your usage of their systems. Show me a list of products based upon your usage. Mm. And judges saying, okay, so SRE Street Band. Chance to get a few points here. Um, if you can come up with uh, one of the answers on the board, you will get the points for that one. If not, the other people, and then we move on with this round. So uh, given this was Carrie's face-off, Carrie, you are captaining up for coming up with the answer for name something you might see in an email from a vendor. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, just following up on our last email, 
Right. Like follow up. Uh, can we schedule something? Yeah. Uh, a bill, uh, a link to a webinar. Uh, we think you might be interested in. Um, is there time we can schedule fi- a 30 minute talk? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Like follow up, I think is a good one. Right. Like just following up, just touching base. Are we talking about like objects in the email or like content? I mean, just something you might see in an email from a vendor. And it's not necessarily like a prospect, right? This could be a vendor you've already signed with, is how I read it. I mean, I the say, question, Alex, is how do the hundreds of engineers who right. sent this to read it? Yeah. But we have <laughs> no answers. There's seven total. I feel like touching base or your bill. I think those, I think one of those has to be in the top seven. I say touching base. All right, Carrie, it's your call. Right. What's your final answer? That's a different game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I'll go with the consensus. I'll say touching base. Follow up. Show me just touching base. Survey says mm. no. Oh wow, this is who did you survey? Okay, well, so that being said, no points change hands. Let's go ahead and see the answers. So we just go ahead and start at the bottom. Uh, a bad joke. Uh, Checks out. Number six is tracking pixels. Number five, in these troubling times. Number four answer is, I hope this message finds you well. Number three answer on the board is a broken unsubscribe link. The number two answer was spam. And the number one answer on the board is hello, name variable. So, well, congratulations uh, on having our first experience of a round where nobody got them. So that's okay. So we just move on uh, and we will get to our next round. So this is going to be Ian versus Tibor. So get yourself uh, hands on your buzzers and I will unlock them as soon as I read the next uh, survey question, which is name a Git command. And first, Tibor, okay. Tibor, commit. name a git command. Commit, FFA commit. commit. Show me commit. Survey says. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh. So Ian, this is your chance to steal. Name a git command. Push. Show me push. All right, number two answers. So the SRE Street Band will play. Alex, there are four remaining. We've heard commit was not on the board. Name a git command. Pull. Show me pull. Get pull. Okay. Carrie, name a git command. Uh, status. Show me status. Mm. No. Okay, Ian. You've got one strike, but still three answers to go. You're in good shape. Name a git command. Branch. Show me branch. Mm. Oh, all right, Alex. It's rough. You got three possible answers, but only one strike remaining. And the number one answer is still on the board. Name a git command. Merge. Show me merge. Survey Mm. says... No, okay, the other people, this is your chance to steal. If you can, this is uh, Tibor, so you are the one coming up with the final answer, talk to your teammates. If you can name a Git command that hasn't been named, but is on the board, uh, you will take these uh, take these points and you would ideally pick the number one answer and get even more points. My impression is that these people are not really putting code in their repository, just pushing and pulling stuff around. The I don't know. For fix up. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking either checkout or rebase. Yeah, I was also thinking checkout clone maybe clone because a lot of people who I guess, I guess that's the first command that you try because you only meet gate because you have to. I guess. So. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Should it be clone then? Okay, we are going with clone, I guess. Oh, wait. Um, maybe we should go for non-common ones. Maybe. From maybe think from... about people who wanted to brag about uh, what they do. Oh. 
I maybe maybe not, but yeah. Okay, but is is clone? Is that your answer? Or we'll give you another minute or two. There's actually a pull request command, I think. It's uh, it has nothing to do with uh, GitHub pull requests. It's just there, and it it actually sends an email or something like that. <laughs> but but I'm lazy. I clicked the link. <laughs> Okay, what where where are we landing now? for naming a git command? Mm, any better ideas, guys? I'm still going for fix up. <laughs> That's a good option too. But it yeah. is your choice. Yeah, Tibor, you will need to pick for us. Let's go with fix up. All right, show me fix up. Survey mm. says no. Okay, so the points, 18 points, will go to the SRE Street Band, but let's see what those remaining Git commands were. Bisect. Next, we have blame. Good old Git blame. And the number one answer was, of course, rebase. So Git rebase. Git rebase. All right. This is now uh, our final round. So uh, the other people, you have a shot. If you can run this board, you can you can send the SRE Street band packing. So we've got Chris facing off against Alex again. And we'll get ready for this final final round. Name a software license. Alex is the first one to buzz. That was super close. Alex, name a software license. I can name a bunch. I'm trying to think. What's number one? Yeah. yeah. People, it's 2021. I'm going to go with Apache. Show me the Apache license. Survey says it's number two. Okay, Chris, if you can name the number one answer on the board uh, for a software license, you will steal control from Alex. What do you think it is? MIT license. Show me the MIT license. Survey says, boom. Okay, you are on your way. If you can uh, run these next three, I think you might uh, have a shot here. I don't know how good my math is, but we'll see how that goes. So that brings us to Charlotte next. Charlotte, name a software license. I suck at this. Um, proprietary. <laughs> Show me a proprietary license. Mm. No, okay. That's okay. You still got two strikes, three answers. Good shape. Tibor. Yep. Yeah, GPL, maybe. Show me the GPL. There we go. Okay, you're on. You're on a run here, Chris. Got two potential answers and two strikes to go. Name a software license. I'm trying to think of software licenses. All I know is Apache and MIT. Really, um, yeah. I honestly, I have no idea. Are you okay? Are you just taking a strike or throw something out there? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you an acronym like GDL or something. It's not going to be there anyway. Show me a made up acronym. Mm. Actually, probably could have been an answer. Okay, Charlotte, one more shot here. Uh, think of a potential software license. Got the big ones out of the way. So this is tricky. I'm, yeah, I'm completely drawing a blank. Uh, <laughs> For those of you, uh, our judge just said if Open Core was one of the choices, I would have accepted made up acronym. So, <laughs> so Open Core. Maybe think about uh, not necessarily just you know traditional licenses, but. Okay, we will give the SRE Street Band a chance to steal. 
Um, if you can guess one of these, you will rest control. You will get the rest of the points. If not, the points will go to the other people. So uh, Alex, come up with your answer with your teammates. So the two others that immediately come to mind, the BSD license mm -hmm. and the Mozilla Wait, did, license. Hold on. Did we, did we strike a third time? No, actually, well, Charlotte didn't answer yet. So we can give Charlotte one, you know, if you've got an answer in you there, Charlotte, you know. Well, that's unfair because there's a third <laughs> I just said two. <laughs> th th those were both wrong, so don't worry. Okay. <laughs> no license. People forgetting so we, licenses. No license at all. Didn't even license the stuff. <clears throat> There's our third strike. Okay, we tried. Okay, Alex. All right, so yeah, again. The BSD license and the Mozilla license, those are both things I ran into in the wild. But also, I wonder if it could be like a jokey answer, like a restrictive one, or I, I, I don't know. My, my instinct is to go with the, either BSD or Mozilla. I feel, I'm feeling BSD. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, show me BSD. So, Paul, you lied when you said that that was the wrong answer. So, yeah, okay. that's okay. Um, all right. What was the final answer that was not uh, on the board? Was Creative huh? Commons. Creative Commons. So, all right. with that, the points do go to the SRE Street Band, um, which means that the SRE Street Band are uh, the winners of this round, which means they move on to our semifinals. They will uh, play against uh, Team TBD. Um, that's not actually the name of the team, um, but that will be in our first round in uh, September, I believe. We're going to be taking uh, CNCF TV is taking a couple of weeks off um, because it's the summer and it's holiday and such. But you can see as things progress. But don't worry, just by being on this show, uh, we will send you home with some lovely parting gifts. Not only do you get a lifetime supply of rice roti, the San Francisco treat, you get the CNCF certification of your choice. Just go see Dan Pop and he will hook you up with uh, all the free search you could possibly need. So thank you for And joining. second place gets two CNCF That's true. of their yeah. choice. <laughs> Don't tell the uh, CNCF lawyers uh, what, what, what we're claiming here um, today. But speaking of uh, CNCF things, a couple of CNCF bits of news. Uh, registration for KubeCon plus Cloud Native Con North America is open. Uh, it is in-person and virtual, hybrid, you might say. Uh, to explore all the registration options, click the link that I'm going to put in the chat because I can't believe they think that I'm going to read this uh, out loud. And uh, likewise, uh, Cloud Native TV is now in the CNCF store. So we've got a bunch of great stickers that you can hook yourself up with if that's a thing you like, stickers, because who doesn't like stickers? So I want to give a uh, big thanks to our teams, the SRE Street Band and the other people. I also want to give a chance if you've got any uh, players, if you have any upcoming conferences that you might be presenting at, anything you want to plug, maybe you wrote a book or something like that. Uh, what, where can, uh, feel free to, to, to plug what you've got. You've got something to show off. Yeah, just come find me on Twitter, A Hidalgo SRE, A H I D A L G O S R E, and I will keep you up to date on all sorts of stuff like that. Anything uh, exciting coming up with uh, Container Solutions? I think you've got a, an event coming up. The WTF is Cloud Native. Did I get that right? Yes, we have a conference coming up in November. You should find it on our website, I hope. If not, Twitter is going to inform you at some point. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely yeah. on the website. Uh, is the CFP open for right now? Do you have the registration? What do people need to know? Anything? Or go find it on the website. Yes, all of it's on the West. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> CFP as well. And we're looking Excellent. for lots of people, so happy to have Man. people. Fantastic. Uh, Gary, Ian, you have anything to upcoming to, to plug? Anybody hiring? Yeah, we're gonna be, I'm going to be on a webinar with uh, Niall Murphy on the 25th of uh, this month. Uh, it's a, a webinar hosted by ISOs. Um, they're talking about SRE. So. Fantastic. It's exciting stuff. Well, as always, uh, thank you for joining us here at the CNC Face Off. I am Matt Stratton. Helping me and doing all the real work as always is Paul Charcuterie. 
I promised even on his birthday the other That's day, I didn't, pronou- I didn't pronounce Paul's last name properly. It will just never happen. But uh, don't forget to, to like and subscribe or subscribe or whatever the word is for Twitch to know about all the upcoming CNCF uh, shows. And we will be back four weeks from today with the final regular series, uh, regular set of rounds to see uh, who moves on next in the bracket. So keep on that reminds me. facing it- off. If Yo, you're yeah. a subscriber of the Twitch channel and you see Pop in person at KubeCon, he will give you a bag of Smarties. No, not Smarties, M&Ms. The other, the other, the other chocolate. <laughs> you already messed candy. it up, yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right, as always, keep on facing off. Later, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And Bye, guys. Team.